primary. Republican Blaze Angolia represents Florida's 35th district in the state house. He's also chairman of the Florida Republican Party. Welcome back, sir. It's good to be back. Thank you, Carol. Nice to have you here. So what is your prediction for the great state of Florida on the Republican side? Well, we're seeing, I think we're going to see record turnout. Uh, as of this morning, we've had about 1.17 million uh, ballots cast. I think uh, we're seeing a little bit lighter than normal turnout right now, but we think that's because we've had record turnout in terms of early and absentee voting. So um, it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be uh, close. I don't think it's going to be uh, as far off as what, the, uh, what some of the polls are suggesting. We're expecting a tight and competitive race. Really? Because most of the polls show Donald Trump way ahead of Marco Rubio. So Marco Rubio could do, could do better than expected? Yeah, I think Marco Rubio, Senator Rubio, can do better than expected. Um, some of the polling that we have seen, um, that is polling that is self-identified Republican voters. They're not necessarily calling off of the voter rolls. So some of the polling that we have seen where they're actually calling off of the voter rolls, it's been a lot closer. And look, if anybody can pull off a, uh, a statewide race as an underdog, Marco Rubio can do it because he did it in 2010. We've already seen him do it. Um, are you seeing people switching parties as um, a lot of other people are in other states? Yeah, we are. Um, that has been a dynamic not only just in the state of Florida, but what we've seen that across the United States. The competition, uh, just the sheer competition itself, there are a bunch of people coming out switching parties to vote for Mr. Trump. But the competition himself, all these voters are not necessarily voting for Mr. Trump. They're also voting for all of our candidates. And what you're seeing with that is you're seeing, um, you're seeing the Republican Party, we are, are a lot more energized than what we're seeing over the Democrat, Democrats. Overall, 67 percent increase um, in voting um, on the Republican side and a drop of about 35 percent on the Democrat side. We are much more energized than Democrats this, this time around. So, so in your mind, those Republic or those Democrats who are switching parties to vote for Donald Trump, what do they see in Donald Trump? Well, it's not just the Democrats. Um, it's the Democrats, the Republicans, and the independents. I think what everybody is seeing in this election is that they're just tired of the failed policies of the last seven years, and they're really afraid of having another uh, four, possibly eight years of continued failed policies of Obama. Listen, if, if Hillary Clinton sees the inside of the Oval Office, what everybody is really afraid of is more record debt, more stagnation in the economy, and unfortunately, a five to four liberal majority for the Supreme Court. That's what's driving the competition. That's what's driving people to turn out in this election. When it all comes down to it, do you think that um, because Senator Rubio is a sitting senator, that's really what, why he's not doing so well in Florida, even in his own state? Um, obviously, the polling, uh, like I said before, the polling is suggesting that Mr. Trump has a lead right now. But overall, what the Florida voters are uh, most worried about from what I've seen is the economy. So uh, an economic message, a message of prosperity and opportunity is the one that's going to resonate this election. All right. I have to leave it there. Blaze and Golia, thanks so much for joining me this morning. I appreciate it. Still to come.